Hey guys, this is Stephen Goy, Technical Analyst of Alice Blue. So in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. Now this is crude oil 15 minute time frame. And we have seen here crude oil is running in an uptrend both according to the price action method and moving average uh, crossover, right? So now we have seen this is a lower point and a higher point and the reverse back create a higher low and price again push up and create a higher high and after that again price push down so we have seen according to the price action method the price is running in the uptrend and you can see uh, 50 moving average are still running 150 and all moving average are arranging sequentially now question is that here question is arising here all are showing us the uptrend can we buy now that is the most important right so if you wanna see this according to the price action and moving average cross all are running and they will create an uptrend from this area so you can uh, now you can go for buy but before you enter for the buy direction we must focus on in a large time frame let's take a look how safe is there if you want to buy here how safe we are right right now okay let me show you in a daily time frame we have seen prices still running in an uptrend oh, sorry downtrend have you got it in a 15 minute time frame it's just showing we are, uh, prices running in an uptrend and uh, large time frame like daily we have seen still running in a downtrend price now that is why i drawn some resistant area where 3900 because here 20 moving average are act as a resistant right now so we can see first they reverse toward this area and again price drop down from that area so in daily time frame it is showing still they are running in a down then it is a high probability to reverse back again if it happen we are not safe for the buy direction right so now uh, let's check in a four hour time frame how it should look like in a four hour time frame also both are different in a moving average according to the moving average price is running in a downtrend and the price action method it's uh, running in a uptrend now we have seen that is our resistance right here we have daily we have seen around 3900 is our resistance line and another resistance line we have seen 3959 here 3959 here 200 moving average are there and remember if price break uh, 3900 then you can see this is called range of this market I just remove this range because I want to focus on in a small most nearest right we have seen most nearest point are there so if this price break this level we will confirm that price will reach that area but not 100 percent sure there is no holy grail method who can who can uh, give you 100 percent accuracy but this is a high probability to reach that next level next level is what three nine five nine five nine next level first level we have seen three nine zero zero 3900 zero zero. this is our first level and we are looking for buy above 3900 zero zero. not now right for the sell direction if you want to see here yeah all right uh, most of the people are thinking all right uh, in a downtrend we have seen price running in a downtrend in a daily time frame and here downtrend prices reverse back toward this is it will reverse from this area because we never know about the market we need the confirmation that is called high probability now for the short direction for the sell where is the high probability trade for us so let's check in a 15 minute time frame now we have seen here price failed to break new higher high right and we have seen this is a range supporting range and this is called no traded zone because we are not confirmed yet right remember 
if price break this range let me show you if price break this range now it's a range if price break this range and as similarly we have seen 200 moving average are there right so once they break this level in a daily time frame price is running in a downtrend and we will confirm that the trend is still running in a downtrend and, uh, and they start running uh, in a downside in in a 15 minute or you can say like a small time frame also right after breaking this one then we will confirm price will continue toward the downside right from this area so here will be our sell entry point not now right and most of the people are thinking can we buy here right now so yeah definitely you can buy but you must place your sell very strictly because market are not clarifying it's a large time fam in a daily they are showing still running downtrend and this portion are giving correction and a four hour time fam they are Telling in a price action method, price action method, they are running in a uptrend and a MA, like mob, according to the moving average method, they are telling still running in a downtrend, you know, H4, right? H4 chart, both are confusing. So still we are not any, uh, we are not getting any confirmation and a daily fully confirming in a downtrend. And uh, M15, right? 15 minute time frame. It's just showing all uptrend, all uptrend. But now we have seen this is a fail to break new higher high. That is the uh, important thing. Now for the sell, if you wanna go daily time frame because everything going in a downtrend, we must wait to break this 200 level because don't enter anywhere in in this market blindly. This is market. They never care you. They don't care who you are. You are a small guy, big guy, whatever. You are a rich, you are a poor, whatever. You are knowledgeable or whatever. Market never care about you, who you are. Remember. And always find out some entry point. Right? It's an important thing. Now, uh, we have seen buy opportunity according to the moving average. Right? Now you can see after break after breaking this uh, resistance line price just drop down and after that we have seen a bullish spin bar or you can say like hammer pattern whatever name name is doesn't matter you just learn the behavior of this market right so according to the this candlestick pattern we confirm the price will give a uh, bounce from this area and uh, similarly now this moving average that means 100 moving average exponential acting as a strong support because first time we have seen price are bouncing from this area and remember if you want to enter here in this area right it will be a little more risky but if you want to place your sl you can take a buy opportunity uh, you can take a buy here if you find any bullish candlestick pattern above this 100 exponential moving average because this moving average we have seen previous market bounce from this area and this area are uh, supporting zone and if price drop down in this area again we are looking for any candlestick pattern uh, if you don't have any idea about the candlestick pattern you just uh, visit to my website and you will find uh, most powerful candlestick pattern so you just find out among the that five most powerful candlestick pattern if price are forming here above this area so you can go for buy and remember you place sl just below 200 moving average and always use one to two percent risk your entire capital not more than right in a trade one to suppose if you have one lakh if you want to take two percent and take only uh, place according to the um, position sizing calculator and take that mass of lot right don't use like 100 lot 200 lot by using 
uh, like uh, huge leverage don't enter don't buy that much right that is the important that is the trading uh, system always follow the trading system without trading system nobody are going to be uh, like what called profitable trader right okay now uh, if you want to see according the Elliott wave pattern so i think Elliott wave it is a little more complicated and you just visit there i already wrote about the Elliott wave now we have seen this is a impulsive wave corrective wave impulsive wave and now it's becoming a corrective wave and there is a very six type of corrective wave so you just uh, go through the, my website and read so we have seen there is uh, they are going to form abc pattern abc pattern also they are forming this is called a uh, b sorry b is not look like that okay b and c abc pattern and this point called x point remember and this is a part of Elliott wave. this is corrective wave right so it might be reverse again here they will create c point and that is why we are looking for a bullish signal if we are find any bullish signal definitely we will start buying from this area and the target will be same don't go further sometimes it's called uh, uh, failure five wave that is called in Elliott wave right in Elliott wave they are forming five wave right one two three four five sometimes what happened one two three four fifth fifth uh, failure right so at that time they are creating double top okay one by one i'll teach you everything don't worry so now you can see here we have seen some uh we are looking for buy opportunity above this area remember above this area and remember if price approaching long long candle avoid this market that means seller momentum are increasing right once seller momentum are increasing stop buying right and we're looking for break this level and when they will retrace we will start selling at that time right so in the evening session definitely i'll create i think market will stay in this range right now so evening session definitely i will explain where our entry point for evening session you just subscribe my another youtube channel already given in this uh, description thanks for watching